Hello, my name is Nathan Peterson. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Today, I wanted to talk about what I call pivotal moments of anxiety. Before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm posting videos weekly on different mental health issues that are gonna be super helpful for you. So when I look for anxiety, I look for different moments in somebody's life that are very pivotal. This is why I call it pivotal moments of anxiety. I feel like there are moments every single day of our life that are very pivotal, especially when it comes to anxiety. This means that we are going down this line, we are moving along, moving along, there's something that happens. We have to decide in that moment if the decision we are making is based off of anxiety or it's based off of something that I absolutely just want to do. To give you an example, I remember being at a restaurant with my family and they had one of those single serving machines that take a really long time to push all those buttons and figure out what drink I want and, and I had four cups I needed to fill up. So I'm sitting there and filling up my drink, I'm taking my time, put my drink to the side and I kind of look behind me and I'm noticing the pile of people starting to build, starting to build, starting to build. My anxiety starts saying, hey man, you gotta hurry this up. Those people are gonna get angry with you. I just perceive some type of threat. So that is one of those pivotal moments. If I choose to get out of line, which is what my brain told me to do, figure out what my family wants, get back in line and fill up those drinks, is that something I actually wanna do? Or is it something that I'm doing to reduce some type of threat that I've created? The threat in my brain said that people are gonna get angry with you. So I really have to make that decision. So guess what I did? I stayed in line. I made sure I got the drinks that I thought my family wanted. And that very last drink, I actually put the cup in the machine. I pushed the buttons, pushed the buttons, pushed the buttons. I knew exactly what I wanted. Push the buttons, push the ice, you know, put the ice in, put the drink in, took my sweet little time. And I'm noticing there's a lot of people still behind me and I'm smiling and in my head I'm actually like, eh, they may or may not be angry with me. We'll see if there's a problem, we'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe not, we'll, we'll get there when the time comes if it happens. That I put all the lids on, I put all the straws in and I left. Guess what, nothing happened. I lived uncertain about it. I, I didn't reduce the threat. I actually wanted to do what I wanted to do. I'm not standing in that line trying to get a drink because I don't want a drink. I want a drink. So on the other end of the spectrum, I'm not sitting there taking my sweet time because I'm just trying to be a mean old person. Instead, I'm teaching my brain something new. I taught my brain that if I'm feeling anxiety, I'm willing to do something about it. I'm willing to step closer to the threat, embrace the anxiety, even if I have to inconvenience somebody. I didn't say nothing bad was going to happen. Let's say somebody actually came up behind me and was like, hey man, you're taking way too long, hurry up. Guess what? I prepared for it, I'm ready for it. I already told myself that something bad may or may not happen. I didn't try to reassure myself that nothing bad was going to happen. I'm actually allowing myself to live life. So when we really think about that, I bet there are moments in your life that probably happen daily that you get to this point and you have to make that decision. Are you gonna split off this way and just do what you wanna do? or split off this way and not do what you wanna do because you're feeling anxious. This also doesn't mean that we're completely selfish people because we're not willing to help somebody else. This actually just means that you are not allowing anxiety to rule your life. When it comes to social anxiety, am I choosing to sit there and pretend like I'm on my phone to look busy or not, in, not engage with the conversation because I feel anxious about it? I'm worried what other people are gonna be thinking? Or am I choosing to not do that just because that's, I don't wanna talk. I don't feel like it today. If I don't feel like it, then guess what? I'm not gonna talk. But if anxiety tells me not to talk, then I better darn talk. So when it comes to OCD, there are very many pivotal moments in somebody's life. I might have an intrusive harm thought of some kind, and my first reaction is to push it away. I gotta decide in that moment, am I pushing that away just because I'm like, oh, it's kind of a strange thought, or am I pushing that away because I need to reduce some of this anxiety that's happening, and I need to make sure that I'm a good person. If it's the anxiety route, there's that pivotal moment. I need to actually step closer to that threat. I need to keep that thought around. I need to leave it uncertain. I need to not figure it out. I need to actually use exposure and response prevention so I can teach my brain something new. And the thing I'm teaching my brain is that 
this has no value or power in my life. If it did, then I would be pushing it away. But I'm not pushing this away. I'm actually engaging with it to say, cool, you're making me scared, then I'm gonna stay scared. So think about that when you are making decisions in your life. Is this based off of something I wanna do? or is it based off of anxiety? They can be very small decisions that you're making to very large decisions that you are making. Pay attention to them. Think about that. I'm pivoting, am I pivoting the right way? Or am I just trying to protect? So let me know, do you control your own life or do you let anxiety lead you around? You be the person that's leading the anxiety around. The anxiety is behind you, it's following you. You get to decide how it's going to be. Anxiety is not a bad thing. Feel the anxiety, embrace it. Don't make it a bad thing in your life. Make it a companion that you can just put your arm around and give it a big hug and say, I don't care if you're here or not. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've got other videos on anxiety, OCD, and so forth. Make sure you watch those and have a great day. Hello, my name is... <clears throat> so what I mean by this, there's a little dot right here. We're making, a, we're making two different... So on the other end of the, of the spectrum, even if I have to inconvenience, if I don't feel like it, and guess what? I am not going to very big decisions that. Oh, snap. Very large decisions. To very large decisions. Decisions?